Hi guys and welcome to the next video. So today I wanted to talk to you about uh, the types of the restarts that we have in Funk. Ready? Let's get started. Five, seven. Okay, so in a Fanuc robot, uh, we have quite a few types of uh, or options of restarting the robot. So the most common ones are going to be hot start, cold start, and control start. Depending on which one you choose, there are different actions that are happening, and there is a different procedure to uh, do, do them. Uh, for the newer controllers, uh, selecting the type of the restart that you want to do is quite simple. So you're just simply going to uh, hit the function key, then you're going to, to go to next, then you're going to do cycle power, and then a pop-up screen will show up where you can choose what type of restart do you want to choose. But what do you want to choose? Well, let's answer that question now. So depending on the uh, action you want to take, you, you might choose a different type of the restart. For most of the cases, so when the robot is running fine uh, and it stops and it asks for a power cycle, for example, because of the collision and it got uh, the uh, overload, so it cannot move anymore. It will ask you for the restart just so he can get back up and running. And in this case, you just want to do the hot start. Basically what hot start, hot start is doing, it will just cycle power the controller uh, without making any changes to uh, like to uh, reinitializing the variables. So basically it's like a cycle power. Now, what is the cold start? So with the cold start, the story is a little bit different uh, because this is the type of the restart you want to do in case something goes wrong and you don't know why robot is acting weird. So this is basically uh, like the same thing you will do for your uh, PC or laptop. Like when something doesn't work, you just cycle power it and then it works back again. So that's what the cold start is for. So if something uncommon is happening to the robot, maybe something got uh, like blocked somewhere, maybe something got lagged and the robot is kind of uh, lost. So you want to perform the cold start then. So simply uh, you can do the same just by going to the function menu, selecting the cold start, or you can do it the old school way, how we used to restart the older controllers. And that is going to be by holding the prev and next button while cycling power the controller. So you either can uh, cycle power the controller through the circuit breaker, you can just flip it, turn it back on and hold those two buttons and that will take you to the cold start or you can select it like I said from the pop-up screen. And uh, this type of restart is going to reinitialize the IOs, reinitialize the variables that maybe got stuck somewhere, maybe they are kind of in an unknown step and that's why the robot is asking, uh, acting weird. So that's probably the type of the restart that you want to do. Uh, it won't break anything, guys. You can do it in the most cases. So that's something you want to know and that's something you want to do if really like maybe the robot won't start the PNS or the style and maybe you don't know what's going on. Just do the cold start. It should solve the issue in 99% of the cases. Okay, uh, let's follow to the next uh, stop that we have. So the next stop that we have, um, not stop, uh, cycle start that we have, cycle power that we have is a uh, controlled start. So what is a controlled start? So a controlled start allows you to enter additional options that are not available uh, while the robot is running. So it might unlock some variables that you can change that cannot be changed under a regular start. It allows you to uh, restore the controller backup and do a few other things. How do you access this? Again, you can go just uh, through the function menu and then just simply select the, cold, uh, the control start and the robot will automatically boot to the control start. Other way uh, is by holding the prev and next buttons while cycling power the controller. This will take you to the uh, boot option menu and you can uh, select the controlled start from there. What else? Uh, the next thing is going to be for like kind of expert guys. So you might not want to do it, but uh, 
other guys might find it useful. So that's how do we enter the boot menu. So this is something that allows us to load the control image uh, as well as do the init start of the robot. Now don't get confused guys, init starts means we are going to reinitialize the controller. So basically the controller is going to look exactly the same as it came out of the factory. So be aware because init start doesn't mean that the robot is just going to restart and work fine, no. You will wipe up everything that the controller has and you're going to start up with a brand new controller. So you, you might not have your software options. You will not have your uh, programs and so on and so on. The control is just going to be clear. So if you want to do an init start, be aware what's going to happen. Uh, probably the uh, boot menu you will use for restoring the robot image, but we're going to cover that in a different video. Uh, how do we enter that type of uh, start? So you want to cycle power the controller, you want to hold F1 and F5 buttons while the controller is booting up, and that will allow you to enter the, the boot menu. Okay, so simply select function, next, cycle power, yes, or cycle power your controller. Uh, wait for the black screen to appear. Now hold the F1 and F5 buttons. As I said, while the controller is booting up and that will uh, bring up the menu I talk about. Okay, right now uh, you can do many things in here. If you want to exit that menu, simply select a number one and hit enter. That will take you back uh, to the uh, other uh, menu, the configuration menu, from where you can select the hot or cold start, whatever uh, suits you better. And after that's done, just wait for the controller uh, to boot up. And this, this is how you exit the uh, boot menu after you restore the controller image or you've done other job in that menu. Okay, uh, so that will be all, to, all for today, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to subscribe, give it a like, and like always, see you in the next video. Bye-bye.